I think it's baby day. So my due date is on Monday, it's Saturday. And I had COVID, today is like my official day where I am supposedly not contagious, good to go. I have like no symptoms. I still like don't really can't like taste and smell 100%. I'm at like 40-ish percent. Um, but, uh, so last, my doctor told me not to do like any labor inducing activities um, until Friday night. <laughs> so last night I did some labor inducing activities. Um, and this morning I woke up and I had some like spotting and like a little bit of cramping, not a ton. Um, but like, I'm just kind of like watching to see if the spotting was like a one-time thing, um, but it looks like it's not. And so um, I think today might be baby day and I feel very excited. I vacuumed the whole house, like things are ready to go. My husband still needs to set up like the swing and the pack and play, but the car seat's in the car. Um, and I'm waiting to tell my mom <laughs> because she's gonna come um, and stay with her daughter, she's two. Um, they live about two hours away, and so I'm waiting to see like, okay, is this for real happening, or is this like not really happening? I think it's happening, so I'm just waiting a little bit. But I think today's the day. It is about 4.30. Um, I've been having contractions for most of the day. We went to Costco. My daughter fell asleep on, on the literally six minute car ride. And so my husband stayed with her in the car while I was in Costco. And while I was walking around, like I had many contractions. Um, and I'm so glad I had like the little app on my phone. So walking around, I had them a bunch. Then the car ride, we went and got gas, um, and they slowed down. And so since I'm not like moving around as much, like they seem to have slowed down quite a bit. So my mom. So this is the app that I was using. It's just called Contractions. Um, it has like a little baby on it. So press that. Um, and then it is tracking how many I've had in the past hour, frequency, all that stuff. And when I have a contraction, I just press the button um, and I stop it. I started keeping track at 11.04 this morning. Um, and this is the frequency. So this is how far apart they were, which was super like inconsistent. Um, the more I move around, the faster they come. Um, they're coming either way, but the more I'm moving, the faster they're coming for sure. Um, so I've been bouncing on my ball. Um, I am like, my mom will be here in like an hour-ish, so probably in like 30 minutes, I'll start moving around a little bit more. Um, all right, it's almost seven o'clock. I'm still having attractions, but they're not still super consistent or super painful, so. Just waiting. It's about 11.30 and we are on the way to the hospital. Um, my contractions are like, they're still, they're stronger. They're not like a minute. They're still like 30 seconds, but they're like four to five minutes apart. Um, and I just feel like, I, I feel like I feel more nervous than I did last time. Um, and so I just wanna go get checked um, and just kinda see what's happening. And I hope that we can stay, but like, I'm also a little prepared that like I was, might not be dilated that much, but I don't know. I just wanna go. I don't wanna like fall asleep in my bed at home um, and then have to get up in like two hours. So we're gonna go and see what happens. But it's like 11.30. How you feel? Nervous too. You feel nervous? Yeah. Why? I don't know. I just feel like, I just like feel butterfly -y. There's just more stuff going on. You got a kid at home. Yeah. That is maybe it. It's hard. I cried. I'm putting her to bed tonight. Just like, this is the last time I'm just holding one of my babies. Um, so it just feels different. Like I just want her to wake up. Um, this is like the first time we won't be there in the morning to get up with her. And so, um, my baby. I'm excited to meet my baby. Oh, okay, we got a contraction coming. to the hospital which is amazing but check in after I get checked so 1230 
we've been here like 45 minutes an hour um they put the monitors on like baby looks good i'm having contractions and um, when they checked me i was only three which i was like disappointed i was hoping for like four five six maybe um and so they said that uh, my cervix is low and i'm like effaced but not totally and so they're gonna check me in like an hour or two they gave me a ball i'm um, just bouncing on my ball and we're just here in the triage room so they'll check me again i'm feeling very tired like i'm getting sleepy but i don't want to lay down um so i'm a little disappointed but the pain is here it feels real i kind of felt like it wasn't as strong as the first time around which i think is accurate now that i was checked and stuff but after she checked me i had a lot more um like discharge and spotting and stuff and so I also feel like my contractions got a little bit stronger after she checked me too. <sighs> so they came in at like two. They checked me again and I was still only like a four. And now it's like 3.30. They'll probably come in and check me again in a little bit. Um, but... I'm still not admitted officially, so I'm just waiting, and it hurts. I think it passed my mucus bark, I'm tired, so. It's about 7.30, and I've been napping on and off for a little bit. I got an epidural like an hour ago, and it is like magical. This is the only way I can describe it. Um, it was pretty easy like going in, they numb you, and then put this fat needle in you and you have to stay still it was fine it wasn't a big deal um and i just my legs are a little tingly but i feel my contractions but it's more um just like a pressure type of thing but i can feel them happening but i feel so much more relaxed um and i was talking to the nurse about like why it hurts so much more and they're just saying it's just gonna be you know like his position and things like that but I definitely think I made the right choice because um, I felt like I wasn't able to manage it like I was with my daughter the first time around so we've already been here we got seven hours and it just feels like so long um, I feel tired so I'm gonna just keep napping um, but baby brother looks good and he's moving around and kicking and stuff um, that's all. It's like 8.45, um, they put a catheter in me a little bit ago. I'm cold, but I'm starving, I had some broth and some jello. The epidural feels great, I can't feel any of my contractions. One side is like way more numb than the other. Uh, but I'm gonna try to nap, I've been napping like on and off for like 20 minutes here and there, but need to sleep. Um, I video chatted with my mom and my daughter and that was nice and she was happy. That made me happy. But that's all. So it's noon and they broke my water a little bit ago. I'm still like eight centimeters dilated. I'm still on Pitocin. It's working. Um, my contractions slow down to like every 10 minutes after the epidural but with the Pitocin they're like um, every like three or four. Um, they broke my water, I can't really feel anything. I'm getting itchy from the epidural. Um, and they just asked me to go back to my side. So I was on my side, then I tried my back for a little bit, um, and I'm back on my side because um, his heart rate was dipping when I had contractions after they broke my water. So I'm tired, but I'm feeling fine. I'm, like I can't feel anything. I'm just tired and just waiting. This is so much different than with my daughter. Um, just, yeah, I feel like I'll remember this more vividly, um, like when I was in labor with her, like there's things that I just like blacked out, I think, and this just feels like a long drawn out day, but I'll remember the details, um, but I'm tired, and I want to eat some food, I had a little boost, clear protein drink, and that seemed to help, I don't feel as hungry, um, but I can't wait to get real food and it does like it just doesn't feel like I'm meeting him today like <laughs> we waited for so long for this and he's like right around the corner and it just feels like just calm just 
waiting, just calm and waiting. But I'm gonna meet my son soon, so check in later. My sweet baby boy he was born about half an hour ago, and he seems so tiny. Um, I don't know how long I pushed for, maybe like 20 minutes. Um, but it's, it was harder, I feel like, with an epidural to feel, but I still had some sensation. And he has like some moles or like skin tags almost on both of his ears and they said that that could be like a hearing um, difficulty and so he gets his hearing screening tomorrow so I'm a little nervous about that. Um, but he's real sweet and cuddly and I feel like he looks like my husband and his mom. Um, yeah, we don't know how much he wears yet. He's definitely a funny looking kid. He doesn't look anything like our daughter, I don't think. But they both had a lot of hair. And he seems little to me. Like, I thought he was going to be way bigger. So. We're also used to a two two and a half year old. Yeah. So, I'm excited to see how much he weighs. He's nursed a little bit. Like, he got a little bit of a latch, but nothing much. Um, what else? I'm tired, but yeah. we'll prob probably go home tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow morning. I'm just excited to eat some food. And I'm glad he's here. I didn't tear, um, and I didn't have uh, any extra bleeding or anything, so it was a good delivery. It's 5.30 and I'm tired. This is our baby boy. I think his name is Robbie. I'm not sure. He's real funny looking. What's, Rob what's Robbie short for? I think Robinson. At first, he didn't look anything like his sister, but now, like, I feel like they're kind of, his cheeks are growing a little bit. <clears throat> he's nursed quite a bit, so he's been some good colostrum, and he pooped when he was born, and he's peed, and he's eaten quite a few times already, so now he's resting, and I hope we get to go home tomorrow. Um, I'm just so tired, so we're in the recovery room now. I'm gonna order some food, watch some TV, take a nap. But he is lovely and we're tired. <sighs> He's eight pounds, one ounce, so a full pound heavier than our daughter and an inch longer. But he still looks so small to me. So I've had kind of a lot of bleeding. Not like they say, like up to 500 is normal, reasonable, and I'm like right there, I had like a really big clot that they had to get out, which is super uncomfortable, but it, it's better now, um, so they're just watching me for that, my blood pressure's a little bit high, not crazy, but I did just push a baby out of my body, so, that's all. Okay, honey. <laughs> <laughs> this is our sweet baby boy Robbie. We're getting ready to go home. He passed all of his test. He's eating. I'm ready to go to my house and introduce him to his big sister. Uh, you ready to go home? Um, my back hurts, but I took a shower and I'm moving around just fine. Um, I have lots of colostrum. Uh, I was definitely like grouchy earlier, tired, but I'm excited to go home. So this experience has been much different than the first time around. Um, I'll do a little update later, but I'm just ready to go. We're going home. His first car ride.
give it to me to eat. Yeah. I want to give it for mommy. No, leave it there. I see my mom. <laughs> Daddy! No baby! <laughs> Sit on the couch, honey. <laughs> oh, help, you want to help couch. Daddy? <laughs> My baby Carlos. <laughs> That's your baby. <laughs> My baby Carlos. <laughs> that baby Carlos. <laughs> Come here. Come here. That baby Carlos. That baby Carlos. Come here, brother. It's sit. My baby. Sit down. Put him in your lap. No. Okay, Mama, hold baby brother. Do you like it? Yeah. <laughs> Do you want to hold him? He doesn't need his hat on. Do you want to hold him? Yeah. Okay, sit down. Sit down. Sit down. I don't I'll hold your cracker, honey. Stop. Okay. I'll hold your cracker. Put your legs down. Put your legs down. <laughs> newborn and a toddler my husband um gave our daughter a bath and i was up there with them and i was putting her to sleep just rocking her <sighs> she's so sweet she loves him so much like he was fussing and she like pats him on the back i was like it's okay brother it is the sweetest thing like i i expected and i hoped it would be like this but it's just like a whole other thing witnessing it and seeing him like the back of his head, they look the exact same from the back. My babies. Um, so my back is killing me. Like, he is nursing so much. Like, he is going to be a chunky boy in no time. Um, I have, like, a ton of colostrum. My milk's going to come in tomorrow or the next day. Like, he has eaten. We got home maybe, like, 2.30ish. And he's probably had four half hour, five half hour sessions um, <laughs> in that time frame. So he's a hungry boy. Um, I tried putting him in his bassinet for a little bit, but he um, fussed. So I just picked him up. Um, and now we're going to hang out down here for a little while and then go to bed eventually. But um, I love him so much. He's so sweet. My back's killing me. My nipples hurt so bad, um, and he, like, I had some clots in the hospital, and I came home, and I, um, I'm feeling, like, fine, but I did have another, like, pretty big clot, and so I'm just trying to, like, be mindful, um, about, like, how I'm feeling, and I feel really good, um, but when he's nursing, like, my uterus contracts, right, and so, um, I've had, like, a couple of, like, painful, like, cramp-type feelings, but that's normal, um, so we're gonna relax for a little bit um i'm gonna change his diaper pretty soon but i'm gonna just get some rest here um all the animals like him monroe likes him mm. my my just back hurts so bad um but here we go one day one day old Sweet baby Robbie. I also can't believe that he's a full pound heavier than my daughter. I was like, he seems so tiny to me. 